Lucy from Nailed It NZ and today I'm actually doing a nail room tour because I moved house three or four months ago and got a new nail room, the first one I've had in two years and I love it so much. Um, so I thought I would show you around um, and give you some tips as to where I bought stuff, if you like what you see. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, please subscribe, thumbs up, comment, blah blah blah, um, and yeah, let's go. Okay, so first we're going to focus on the nail desk, which is obviously the most important part. Um, so I got this desk from an online store on Trade Me. It was pretty cheap. I think it was $120, but the shipping was atrocious. So just watch out if you do buy from them. It took 12 days to get here, and it was from Auckland. I'm in Auckland, so drove me nuts. But it's here, and it's a really nice desk. So that. However, the top wasn't marble. It's not real marble. Um, I just bought some vinyl from a place called Vinyl Home and applied it myself. That was quite pricey for what it was, I guess, but also I don't regret it at all. It was, I think it was like $44, um, but if you have a look, it actually looks really, really amazing and totally worth it. So my desk has all these shelves underneath it. Um, they're open shelves, but I can shove drills in there if I want to at some stage, where I store really helpful nail stuff like The Sims. Um, and just random stuff. It's actually quite empty right now because I just got a new drawer to store most of the stuff I was storing in there. So, yeah. Up here we have this little um, photo montage thing I made, which is completely covered. Let me move it. There you go. Just um, some little photo frames I got for a dollar each from Kmart. Oh yeah, this, like most of this room is from Kmart, naturally. Um, and above here, also Kmart. And this isn't really that pretty, but uh, it's just like my nail swatches and stuff I did ages ago and a little vase so that is this area and here we had my light box it used to be on the floor but my cat sat in it and it's got covered in fur so now it's on my desk and this is just my lamp i never use this to be honest i don't even know why it's here but i needed a place for it and last but not least nail brushes there's more of those to come jeez okay cheer 79 dollars from the warehouse stationery and we actually bought two of them chris has one as well here she is my nail room i know um, and they, one of them wasn't working like it broke or we screwed up the screws and they have the best customer service and just gave us a new chair, no questions asked and I love them so warehouse stationery, really good special I got it on. Um, there is a little bin down there, there's just my nail files and stuff and that's where I keep my, oh my thing is not pointing in the right direction, I keep my cotton wool and stuff like that. Um, that is just there for safekeeping, it doesn't really matter. Over here. As you can see, I didn't really do a major cleanup before this. It's still pretty disorganized, but that's um, all the stuff I need pretty much for most things I do when I'm doing in that YouTube tutorial. So I've got like nail polish remover, I've got top coats, so I've got random other stuff there that's just an easy access I can grab whenever. Um, down here is just like my normal job related stuff. And the same with that one, I think. So here we have my bookshelf that I got for about $40 from Kmart. Don't quote me on that, but it wasn't very expensive. Um, and I've got these little lanterns from Typo, but they're actually from my flatmate. Um, that I've had for ages, no idea where it's from. Uh, it's, I think, like, one of the parents from... Uh, I'm an early childhood teacher, I think one of the parents gave me that for Christmas. This is a poop emoji speaker, Bluetooth speaker, that references my little fun with virality, is it a word, with um, chocolate nails, which was last year and early this year, and does not really ever go away. This is just the rest of the bookshelf. I can't really bother going through it all. It's just normal stuff, paper and printer and cords and stuff like that. Moving on to my desk area. So I've got this desk I got from Warehouse Stationery. Everything in this room is from the warehouse, Warehouse Stationery or Kmart. Um, and I actually applied some of the extra vinyl from that onto the drawer, which I thought looked pretty cute. Um, and yeah, it's a really good desk actually, I really like it. Um, over here I've just got little notes, like things I've got to do, tracking numbers for my brushes, people I've got to like email and that. Um, and what else is over here? Curtains, these are actually quite a big deal for me. Um, this in place initially had purple and, I don't know, purple and blue curtains I think, but they didn't really suit the room. And they didn't reach the floor and they weren't very good for filming in that. So I bought these recently from Briscoe's and I think they were only like $20 each. Um, but they were separate curtains, so I'd put them up separately, they arrived separately. Um, but they're really good just for making sure lighting. My videos is alright and yeah, I really like them. Okay, so this is where I store all my nail art supplies. Um, if you guys have watched my old nail room tours from a few years ago, this hasn't changed much. This is all kind of the same stuff still, so I'll only very briefly go through that, plus it's not very organised right now. 
Um, but I now do have two IKEA drawers. One's for my nail polishes and one is for my nail art brush stuff. Um, so let's go through those. So in case you thought that my brushes were packaged for somebody else, no, I just do them all myself at home. After work and before work and in the weekend. Um, and this is just, yeah, so packaged ones, ones that need to be packaged, and there's a whole bunch more in my storage. Um, and then there's just like single brushes and little extra things for storing them and whatever. Um, I've got bubble wrap, I've got all my like rural delivery stuff and extra sellotape and scissors and all that kind of thing. And then there's just some more, I need to spree stock this, but um, just bags and stuff. That's for international, this is for national. And it wouldn't be a Nowdy NZ video without a uh, um, kind of push for my brushes, so you can buy these online at shopnowdnz.com and they are fantastic and I love them lots. Okay, I don't know what video this was in, but I've totally shown you guys these before, but basically this is, these are all Ikea drills by the way, I got these from an Ikea, oh actually this was from a warehouse, they um, imported them for a while, but Ikea is imported to New Zealand because we don't have an Ikea here, but um, I got these, this was only like $69, this was $130 or something. But, um, oh, this is heavy. Um, I've got reds, oranges and yellows in here, and some browns. And here I've got blues and greens. I love blues and greens, as you can tell. And here I've got pinks and purples. And here I have got whites, blacks, base coats, top coats, um, nudes, that sort of thing. And here I've got glitters and shimmers and all the pretty things. I don't use them very much though. And here is kind of stuff I've been sent and haven't tried out yet or whatever. Um, it doesn't really get touched very much. This is for tax stuff, which is coming up very soon. And I just don't want to deal with it, but I will, don't worry. Um, so down here, <laughs> okay, it's really not organized right now, but it's just basic nail art supplies. It's sponges, it's random leftover. Okay, this is not organized at all, this is embarrassing. Those are cords. What's over here? This is a broken microphone. What's over here? This is nail art stuff. So there's foils. Is this in focus still? So there's foils. Um, uh, birthday banner for my husband. Uh, there is um, sponges and yeah, I just haven't really sorted this out yet. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I have nail art supplies. Go figure. I love decals. Uh, I've got heaps of decals. And some empty drawers. Fish. This is a cupboard which has like extra stock in it. Um, I'm not going to open it because it's just, you can't even see most things, it's just boxes and that. But um, yeah, I just store a lot of my old nail tech stuff in there and um, brushes and whatnot. These are, I need your help. Uh, what do I put in there? <laughs> I'm trying to make these pretty and it never looks pretty. And traffic's really loud, sorry. But I just can't make this look nice. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I am getting some more paint for these walls soon, um, just to patch up little mountain areas. Jeez, I'm Kiwi. Um, and there's just, yeah, so there's a little Kmart thing there. These are from Kmart. Um, yeah, if you have any nice display ideas, let me know. Over here is my, um, my, my lights for my filming. They are umbrella lights. I got them off Trade Me a few years ago for, I think it was $150 for both of them. And they have been so worth their money. Um, they are incredible. I use them every single weekend when I'm filming and they are the best. If you're looking at doing YouTube videos or anything like that, totally get yourself some of these. They will change your life. Um, and this is just to show you, this is not all my area. This is Chris's area, my husband. And this is just his, he, he's doing game design as a career slash he's almost finished his study. And this is his area of two screens and his little geeky Warhammer stuff. And oh, over here is my um, calendar for the month, which I don't really update very well, but you can sort of see it. It's quite cute. I got it from Trade Me. Um, it's like a wall deco and it's stuck on pretty easily. I didn't actually use the, I did it by eye, basically. So it wasn't that hard and I think it looks pretty cute. So if you want to get one of those, I will just try to leave all the links for everything down below. I just found a hole in my wall. So yeah, despite his imperfections and, you know, holes in walls and lack of tidiness, this is my favourite place to be in the entire world. It is amazing. It's my little safe place where I go and stay in for entire days at a time. So I hope you guys liked it. I love it. Um, leave me any comments or questions and thanks for watching.
It's basically a wonky zigzag and you fill in below it as well. Then we're going to make our chicken have a cute winky face, so paint a couple of small curvy lines that link up together, making the winking eye. And then paint.